Hey guys, Warrior here and welcome back to Grid Legends episode 10 where we're with today. Continue with the Enduring Spirit. And we have to do, uh, what's it again? Alright, no guts, no glory, and we'll see if we can do Buckle Up and the Art of Endurance today, but we'll see what happens. Let us begin with no guts, no glory. We're headed over to Fuji Speedway with Hyper Hybrid. Interesting. I can feel the stakes rising with each race as we thunder through this tournament. And when there's thunder, there's lightning. We have an electric race lined up today with those boosts ready and waiting to propel our drivers towards that finish line. Oh, second or higher, huh? Yikes. Okay. Right. How about we try and finish this race in a top position? What are you for second? I reckon you've got this easy. You've got your boost. Let's give it a proper go. Okay. Tails is gone, friend. Right then. Where you can. Uh, classic hybrid hyper cars. Ah! Okay, okay. Alright, this is how we start off today. Oh! Majestary do okay. How interesting hyper hybrids are. The car that runs both a petrol or whatever's engine. And why don't we out around an electric engine as well? So we've got two engines in these things. If I know correctly. I missed that boost gate there, but that's okay. As you 
am I doing here? Moved up to fourth place. I'm flying wide thanks to the high position on the grid. You could have been way further back. Barcelona in the stadium trucks. Okay. Seneca have really pulled it together, pushing in front of Rainbow West these past few races, which I'm sure they're pleased about. really trying to climb those standings, but the way Vox have been performing recently, Seneca are going to have to work a little harder to steal that first place position from them. Interesting. What do you get when you cross pro drivers, trucks, and a track scattered with ramps? That's right, it's stadium truck time. That wasn't even a joke, it's just a fact. Who will soar past the competition and other standings? Let's find out. Finish second or higher again? Okay. Right, looking at these standings, we've got a proper good shot at this tournament. We're finishing at least second. Alright? Alright. I'll try, but no guarantees. Well, I, I, I actually have to. I don't have a choice if I don't do it. But I'm doing not to restart the race. Oh, rip. Because there's still so much. 
wants to do in this game. Ever since I said that, in what, in what episode was it? Wasn't it in one of the classic Carnage episodes that I said there's not much with this game? In terms of the actual, like, ultimate? Well, the more I think about it, the more I realize I was so wrong about that. much more to this game than it is actually in Grid 2019. This game doubles that thing when you have the ultimate. Come on, can we get we're already in the third place? Is this thing on medium? Should I try pushing it to a little bit hard? Oh, it's not hard actually. Oh, should I risk it on expert? Or am I just having a good day? We can risk it on expert and see what happens. I'll let it continue on from the next race. I'm not going to restart the race right now. So, okay. we'll see what happens. If I can do a bunch of restarts, then, well, I'll switch it back down. We are starting up pretty high on the grid as well. We're, we started seventh this time. We're starting up pretty high on the grid. So it might just be lap two helping us out as well. We're already going on to lap two here. Ah! Okay, oh, okay. Well, um... It's gonna be so upset with me right now. I tried to do a barrel roll with this thing. Oh my word. Okay, back up the first place again. Oh boy. Gotta keep the ramps in mind. What was I saying about the 30 minutes again? Uh, I know I was going to say something else about it. Right, because not every episode can be 30 minutes. It's because of how the career works. I can't just start a, uh, let's say for example, there's two events with three races each. That'll take a lot longer than just 30 minutes. So I'm going to have to do one at a time, one event at a time. That lap time was actually even faster, even though I destroyed my car. Wow. I don't even get what he just said, but okay. everything to do with it. This is a lot more calm than I'd like to talk about right now, but I'll wait until we get to the career mode. There's a lot more to it. We got to tackle our teammates, Valentine Manzi. We got the sponsor events. And the career itself too. I mean the sponsor episodes themselves could be a lot longer than 30 minutes. Anyway, we're on to the final lap. Oh, not again! Ow, oh, my poor car! I'm not paying attention, I keep forgetting about that ramp. I just have indoors. That's all I've got! <laughs> my poor car! The Jeep's probably fuming right now. Oh my word. This episode might not even be, be 30 minutes. Depending on how long the, the final event is of this enduring spring season. 
Because then that means if we succeed in doing the next race within 30 minutes, that means the next episode we begin with the rise of Raven West. Absolutely destroyed. No, oh, at least just the body work, but still. Incredible performance from our drivers down there. The absolutely second the higher has been achieved. We get a nice 17,000 bucks there. Along with another 11,000 from our teammates. But the teammate basically covers the costs. Oof! Ay, ay, ay. Right, that's the objective hit. Let's move on. What's next? The Art of Endurance, the final Enduring Spirits event. Again, it's at Fuji Speedway, and we're doing the vintage prototype cars again. Well, we would be driving the Bentley again? Well, only time will tell. Our drivers have been battling it out on the track, whether they be with boosts, ramps, or in their individual vehicle classes. It's become a real yo-yo style leaderboard, and now it all comes down to this race. Right here, right now, a winner is decided. Let's go! Let's go indeed! We are in the Bentley! That's right, let's go! Ten minutes to go, let's go! Oh, sorry! Oh, everyone's up oh, Nobody's got their nose under, noses under each other. Nice, chill, ten minute drive. are in December already, huh? Man. I wonder what it's like. I'm still in August. Oh boy, here comes you, mate. Excuse me, but I'm 
coming through. The endurance races, this difficulty should be okay, but we'll see when it comes to the shorter ones. That might be a problem. I'd rather switch down to a lower difficulty than have a thousand restarts. The thing is, I need to win this race. I have six minutes left to do it, or else I gotta redo. I redo all ten minutes, that would just suck. That's why I stick to one difficulty, just so I can get past things and move on. Avoid as many restarts as possible, but sometimes you just don't have a choice, especially if you terminally damage your car. Currently in fourth place, chasing Oopsie. Oh, I'm going to rewind that. Chasing third right now. I'm trying to gain as I possibly can, but it is a bit difficult. Come on. I have to gain on Daniel Moretti. Slowly. Let's break. Let go break. Tap the brakes. Excuse me, Daniel Moretti. Okay, we're about halfway sideline. That's secure and good position. I must win this or else I have to restart. Oh, is the expert a bit too much for me? two laps, and I'm struggling to gain on just one car already. Let's just do it. Let's just restart. It's final time, baby. I'm trying to speak. I can't handle the expert. I don't want a 30 minute video. We are basically just make no progress at all as I struggle. Oh, dear. It's my fault, I pushed everyone into each other. I wish I would start a little bit further back down the grid instead of like almost in the front. Go. 
fourth place. Yuma is currently sixth place. Excuse me, Daniel Moretti coming through. Oi, oi, oi. What a hard corner right into a chicane and oh boy, I went off track completely. Dixon and uh, uh, what's your guy? Prince Fenton. Man, I don't think I even saw the pink cars before the restart. The 
Rise of Raven West, second longest. Hello! Not, not even half of the main story, actually. All the others just have eight races in them. Off road. There's only one racing game that I've known that has track and off track, off road tracks in the game and has Gran Turismo, and that's it. That's the only ones. I mean, why aren't the rest going for it? I mean, especially like with Forza Motorsport, they got off road cars. Where's the off road tracks? Seconds until the final lap is triggered. This guy just feels like a chill drive, honestly. Now, the thing is, what happened with the endurance races? Because of the difficulty that I'm currently on, and I've said this before, is because of the short races, and like the races that are only like three laps long, and this difficulty is perfect for it. But an expert is just a bit too insane. One more lap after this. based on the shorter races. That's perfect for that. We got one minute left of the race. Are we approaching the back markers? Oh, what happened to them? Why are they all at the back? Well, I mean, like this far back. I mean, we're gaining on them. I mean, I don't think they should be this far back, should they? Or is this track just that short, or are we just that fast? I don't know. 30 seconds left. Alright, we're basically now onto our final lap. Up to them, they are the mini map, but I don't think we'll be able to catch up to 
and Freud to see what they're driving, but oh well. That's fine. second or third. Oh well. Interesting. Alright. That is done. We hit our objective. Chant. Metal looks good on you. These are t-shirts as well. I got them printed. Nancy, what's your t-shirt size? I knew this was a good decision. See you back at the garage? of what's coming next. Interesting. Oh, I've already said what's coming next. And there we go, unlocking another blank. I really wonder what, what we are un unlocking, but it's not showing it. It's probably just badges and banners and stuff. Well, there we go. The Enduring Spirit is done. That would be now... Season 3 of the story now being done. We still gotta do season 4 and 5. But up next is season 4, The Rise of Raven West. And like with these two, like Classic Carnage and The Enduring Spirit, like each only had 8 events, 8 races in them each. But the main story actually had. how many? 36 of them. Interesting that Rise of Raven West has only 11. And then, then Winter Bash is also one of those who only have 8. But hey, we'll get to see the Rise of Raven West in the next episode. We start with. We cut the torch. Okay. There's a whole bunch of other different adventure stuff to do here with the Rise of Raven West, seeing how they started. And now they became what they are. Until they all got fired and found out for cheating and all that. Right then. We shall do pick up the torch in the next episode. Right then. So if you guys are into the first episode or the previous episode of Grid Legends, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards popping up there. You can click on those if you are interested. There's also two links in the description. One link will take you to the Grid Legends playlist and the other one will take you to my website. If you are interested, they will all be in the very bottom of the description. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share it if you liked it, comment and subscribe if you wish. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.